Hi, this is Vanessa DeBerlain. I wanted to give you five landing page conversion tips today. You know how to make a landing page, but why isn't it converting? Maybe you're getting a lot of views, but people aren't clicking that button and opting in and giving you their email address. And that's what a landing page is for. It has one purpose. You give the person something and they give you their email address. It's, it's that simple. So keep that in mind when you're creating your landing page. I'm going to give you five tips. And if these are things that maybe you're not doing, then maybe you can reevaluate and go back and tweak your page. Definitely, if you're not getting conversions, look at these five areas. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Number one, remember I'm giving you five different tips. So number one is the offer. This is the first thing you want to look at. It used to be that people could hurry up and make a checklist or a quick PDF or, you know, an ebook. I know, I don't know about you, but I've, I've clicked that link and given my email address for an ebook only to get a PDF that's three pages long. And it's a little disappointing because when I think ebook, I think book, you know, 17, 18, 19, 20 pages. Um, I've even given PDFs that are that long with steps in it. So make it, make your offer something they can't refuse like think of yourself would i give my email address for this offer it's better to spend maybe a whole day creating something wonderful that somebody with high value that somebody's going to click than to take 10 minutes and throw something together and hope that people click it because then you're just going to be disappointed and the time that it took to create something good that gets conversions is a lot less than creating something lousy and you're sitting here for a month wondering why nobody's clicking. Does that make sense? So you've lost a day <clears throat> instead of a month. <clears throat> so make sure it has a lot of value, okay? So that's your most important step. See right here as an example, this one here says, um, if you want a free ready to go online business that makes four to $5,000 every single month, click here and it includes all the training you need to help you get started in an hour so basically it's telling me i can train for an hour and get up and running and start learning how to earn that kind of money um that's exactly what i'm getting that sounds wonderful to me sounds wonderful to you of course we're going to click for that that's a really good offer it could have said let me give you three tips on how you can earn more money well anybody knows three tips aren't going to help you earn money you need to know how to build that foundation so this sounds like there's a whole training involved will you need more training probably but at least there's training to help you get started so let's look at tip number two you also want to keep it simple notice here this is a landing page it's very very simple remember again your goal is not to sell the lead magnet right here get a free done for you plug and play affiliate marketing funnel i don't have to sell you on funnels and tell you all the wonderful things it does most likely anybody that's going to click this wants to earn three thousand eight hundred eighty thousand dollars a month with affiliate commissions, maybe they don't know what that is, but they're thinking, hmm, that marketing funnel obviously must be something that's gonna help me do that. It's not giving you everything, it's giving you a funnel and it's free. And who doesn't want something for free that's gonna help them earn commissions? So very, very simple. I'm not trying to sell anything to you. I'm just telling you, here it is, it's for free, take it. And that's it, the goal is to collect emails remember that now the third one is you want your wording to be very clear the idea in um, marketing is you want to identify your audience figure out what their problem is and give them a solution and that's what affiliate marketing or any marketing is about if you're in the marketing business um, for camping you want to figure out what who my audience is people that camp um, what are their problems when they're camping and how i can provide solutions you're doing the same thing with online marketing whatever it is your niche is now the problem with this one it says do you want enormous growth well enormous growth with what so you want your wording to be very clear so i would add something to that enormous growth in your e-commerce business or enormous growth with your network marketing business enormous growth in your affiliate marketing business you see how that makes it more clear and then you're going to get people to click when you're really general like this people might think well I'm not really sure what they're talking about. So I'll go find somebody else's offer that is really clear and very specific to what I'm looking for. 
The fourth tip is make sure you pre-qualify your audience. So if I'm putting a post on my Facebook ad, in my Facebook with ads or maybe in my Facebook group, and I'm saying, um, again, it's the same one as I had before, but if I'm telling them they get a free done for you affiliate marketing funnel, then when they click into my landing page, oh, I get a funnel. Don't say I'm going to give you a free affiliate marketing funnel and then they come into your landing page and you go click here for a two week free trial to click funnels. Yes, they can go into click funnels and get free funnels, but that's not what you said when I clicked it. And if I don't know what click funnels is, then I don't understand that disconnect there. So be very, very clear and pre-qualify your audience. I want to give you another sample of um, making sure your audience is clear. Um, let me pull this up for you. This one right here. Let's do this one. There. Okay, build a funnel mastery course. When I go over my course on YouTube and I share, you know, how to build a funnel. I've done that as a sample. I've gone into ClickFunnels and I have built, actually built a funnel so people could see. And then I say, hey, I've got a free course, which I do, which is like five different little lessons that they can actually, if they follow exactly what I tell them to do, they can have a funnel when they're done. Everything is connected. Build a funnel. It's all connected. All right, let's go back and to number five. You want to make sure your call to action button is big and bold. So here, uh, click below for your free funnel recipe cookbook, pay shipping only, and they click it and they get it. And let me show you the actual um, funnel right here. Now, the neat thing is, um, this is the actual page, but I wanted to show you, this is the editing page, but I wanted to show you that you can also get that little call to action to jump up and down. You can get it to rock back and forth. Um, you just saw it on this page here. See how it's rocking? So that's one of the cool things in ClickFunnels is you can make it move. So it's big and it's bold and, it, and they can see it. You can also add underneath there that this is offered for a limited time owner and you can put clocks on there. You can offer maybe to sell a course that you have and say that for the next 30 days it will be at a reduced price or something like that so you can make a clock for um hourly or you can make it for days or you can even say it's limited until you know x amount of time several months away whatever you want that time to be but you put that um, feeling of scarcity and urgency like okay i gotta do this now so you can do that though with your button is what i'm saying and beneath your button so that's pretty cool too so let's go over those five things um your tips let's recap you want your offer to be something that people are going to click make it amazing just go over the top on your free offers because if you do people will appreciate your integrity that you're willing to give for free and then later they're willing to give you their money and you know that works for you as well keep it simple i was going to write the word kiss keep it simple stupid but keep it simple sometimes we overthink and we think the design needs to be amazing and beautiful and while design plays a part in things because we are visual people don't make it so amazing that people miss the message. Does that make sense? Don't make it overpower the simplicity of the message that I just want you to click here and give me your email address and I'll give you my offer. Wording, make sure you're very, very clear in what you're giving them and be consistent. When your ad says I'm giving you a free tent, then make sure when they click that button, they're getting a free tent. I'm just using that as an example. We don't usually give away free tents on um, online marketing, but some people do. All right, pre-qualify your audience. Again, make sure everything connects, everything is clear. When you have an ad, they know exactly what they're getting into when they come in and click. And then have a big, bold call to action. Make sure it's visible, it's moving, it's popping off the page with color or movement, and they know, hey, this is where I have to click. Uh, you want me to do something, this is it. And then I always, on my last page, I like to tell people, you know, make sure you subscribe to my video. Um, or to my channel, um, very clear there. There's your call to action from this video as well. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful because I do make videos on my channel and I do provide content and I need the feedback from my audience so that I know 
if they need more from me or if maybe I'm not clear. And, and that's what this is all about because your job as the marketer is to provide that value to your audience so that you're helping them with a problem that they have. So again, thumbs up if it was helpful and make sure you subscribe.